NCAA 2K20 on on GA Sports is brought to you by Derek's NCAA 2020-2021 rosters. These are the most authentic college basketball rosters ever produced, featuring true-to-life player faces, ratings, and tendencies, as well as fully customized teams, coaches, and lineups. Check out the Patreon featured in the description so you can get the roster when it drops, plus monthly updates. Come be a part of the most ambitious project in sports gaming by clicking the link in the description. Final episode, final three games of non-conference play that we are going to show you. And there are major implications on the line for every team in action. Here in this episode, we begin with an in-state rivalry, Texas Tech taking on Houston. And uh, for Texas Tech, they have had a tremendous run in this non-conference tune-up schedule here so far. Um, they have gone 2-0 with wins over Mississippi State and Oregon, and now they have a chance here to go 3-0 against Houston and pull themselves up into the top five. Houston, meanwhile, has gone 1-1, and so they're just kind of treading water a little bit. Good steal. Tech, Tech, a team I really like. Chris Clark, a player I really like. Oh, that's a block and a half. Come <laughs> on. To a team and player that I really like, you know, obviously leading them to a 7-1 and record right now so this could be huge for Houston if they can get a good home win here all right couple big scores to bring you here Kansas loses again this time going down to Villanova at home so home loss for Kansas not always typical but of course you know Villanova one of the best teams in the country that we've seen guys you got to get up for these rebounds come on oh the big man drains it <laughs> So final score on that one was 60 to 54, which sends Kansas to 0 and 3 in this in this tune-up schedule. So not not what we were expecting. Grimes Ooh, for three. Insane. Come on. Yeah, the other thing to mention also, Baylor picks up a third win. So after after being winless coming in here, yep, release really three. Thank you. I got run after, into. <laughs> <laughs> after being winless coming into. This uh, conference tune-up three games here. Baylor picks up wins over Louisville, Mississippi State, and Ohio State. Yeah, I would think at this point, the way Texas Tech is playing, you can pretty much pencil them in for an automatic bid mm -hmm. with the conference standing. Uh, but other than that, I think I think that second-place bid is pretty much up for grabs in the yeah. Big 12. Which, which will be exciting when we get to conference season here. So steal. Nice steal. Oh, oh Moretti. Back to Moretti. Finish that. Oh, Finish that. Wow. That's beautiful ball Almost movement. Almost threw it straight back. Ooh, All right. He's there. blocked there. Beautiful wow. defensive play. Nice pass. Yes. That's That'll cool. turn things around for the Cougars. So we mentioned that this whole episode is filled with games that have major implications in the rankings. This is just the first. We will see another in-state rivalry. Washington takes on Gonzaga next. And that one's big for both teams, as Washington's really been struggling in this non-con. Grimes! Yep. Yeah, Washington's really been struggling in this tune-up schedule. They've lost two in a row. Gonzaga trying to claw their way into the rankings. They've gone one and one. So a big win over Washington would be everything for Gonzaga. Ooh. And then uh, the final non-conference game of the year. Grimes, step back three. Come on is going to be a dream matchup, Duke taking on UCLA. And that one's going to be big, not just because of the caliber of game that is, the caliber of programs that are in it, but Duke, of course, fighting Memphis for that number one spot, and mm -hmm. UCLA trying to stay in the rankings. Um, they were ranked number 14 coming in. Step back here from Grimes. No yes. way. Come on. Yeah, UCLA's gone one and one in this tune-up schedule. They were ranked number 14, so they're just trying to stay in it. Chris was that Clark, Clark? Baby. of course it was. Of course. And interesting stat that you brought up about Jamius Ramsey. He and Chris Clark are just the second pair of teammates to both rank in the top 10 in the nation in scoring. I'm sure you can guess the first two. <laughs> Easily, it's, the, it's that Duke team, you know. Yep. It's a thorn in everyone's yep. side recently. The Freshman tandem at Duke of Trey Jones and Vernon Carey. This game 
on its face doesn't look like it means a ton for Houston, but when you look at some of the teams that were ranked coming into this tune-up schedule and what they've done, teams like Arizona State is going <laughs> to drop out because they've gone 0-3. Yep. Was that Chris Clark? That was Chris Clark. He's taking yeah, over a little bit. I'm not even surprised, really, at that. Yeah, so Arizona State has gone 0-3 in this tune-up schedule. Um, so they're going to drop out. Teams like Washington has struggled. LSU has struggled. So Houston might actually have something to play for here uh, mm -hmm. with a big win. Jero for three. Yes. Ooh. Yes, Jero getting us back in this one. Come on, get the fans fired up. And Jero oh, no. with the steal. Yep, passing. Yes, hint and throw it down. Just Coach as we talk happy. about what Houston could have on the line in this game. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Yes, that's what we need. That's what we need, boys. Quentin Grimes, give the ball to our best player. Oh, no. Oh, he's oh, away. Wow. He's running out. It's a run out. Oh, 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 oh wow. Cool. Yes. Oh. Yes, that's what we need. Ooh, outlet. We'll take that. Foul. Interesting. Interesting decision to foul. I like it. That's what I would have done myself. It's a little heads up play there by Shannon. Yeah. All right. Got to miss that. Need the rebound. Guys, guys, can we foul? Guys. Oh, oh my God. Texas Tech oh. escapes Houston. Wow. With the dub. Big game here in an in-state rivalry between the Bulldogs of Gonzaga and the Huskies of Washington. All kinds of ranking implications to get to with this game, but first, we have breaking news on a game that just went final. Auburn takes down Michigan State. After trailing by seven with five minutes left, the Tigers come back, beat the Spartans. The Spartans remain winless and they will be 0-6 going into the conference season, which is just unbelievable to think about. Auburn, meanwhile, quietly, is now sitting at 5-1. Yeah. With wins over Michigan State, at Michigan State, Washington, and Arizona State, plus a win at West Virginia. Well, to get on to this game, because I said there's a lot to discuss with this game, and there definitely is, Washington is one of those teams that was the sleeper. Oh. Wow, all right. They were a sleeper coming into this uh, conference tune-up schedule. Yep. Don't run out of bounds. Yep, yep, yep. But yep. Uh, they have struggled. <laughs> They've struggled. They lost to Seton Hall, which we saw in the first episode. They went on to lose to Virginia in their next game. So they've gone 0-2, mm -hmm. and a loss here would drop them to 4-4, four and four, potentially drop them out of the rankings entirely. So things are on the line for them. Gonzaga, meanwhile, we haven't seen them since oh. the first episode. Yep. And uh, they, yes, take that. Uh, they went one and one in uh, in the battle for Atlantis. And then they lost in their first game to Arizona, and beat Michigan State in their last non in their in their last uh, conference tune-up. So. They have a chance here to go three and two and potentially put themselves up in the rankings. Oh, that's money. Oh, yeah, man. absolutely. Both both these teams have everything to, to play for today, and I think they know that. They also want to be the best team in, you know, Washington as well. So <laughs> it'd be a Yeah, an true. State one state here. bragging rights as well. It's tough it's tough to say with Gonzaga because yeah, like you say, we just we haven't seen them that much. That's not who I was meaning to pass to, but that'll work. That's unreal. Anton Gilder. Yeah, we just we, we don't really know where they're at right now. I mean, they've got all the talent in the world, and that's what we come to expect from a Gonzaga team. Baya, come on. Come on. He's been a stud for me. How does that go Grabs the right board. back to yes. him? That's unbelievable. We are coming very close now to the end of the non-conference season. So a couple games that we will keep you updated on right now. Number 15, Minnesota is in action against TCU. The Horn Frogs looking for a big win. And uh, the number one team in the country, Memphis, is in action as well. <gasps> oh, the Tigers taking on 
the Wildcats of Kansas State at home. Yeah. So we'll keep you updated on that. Memphis already out to a 10-point lead just five minutes into the game. So that might give you an <laughs> indication where that game's headed. So coming up Absolutely. next, our final non-conference game of NCAA 2K20, at least before the NCAA tournament anyway. Yep. Uh, Duke takes on UCLA, maybe the two greatest programs in the history of college basketball, facing off in a, in a dream matchup that can only be created here in NCAA 2K20. Another offensive board for Washington, and I just right. left him wide open. I just got lucky there. In this, in this game here, but... Yes! Oh, that's a good steal. Ajayi, put her away. Nice. Bang! <laughs> wow, this is this is a game of runs here. Washington turned things around with a big run in uh, right to go into half, and now Gonzaga has turned it back go. around with Sorn. a big run, and now Riley Soren going to work. Oh, that's the one we need. Uh, yes! I what a I play! Could cheat. What a I play! Oh, wow. I wasn't speaking at all. I was just focused on making that play work. And Gonzaga did exactly what they needed to do. Yep, foul. Absolutely. All right, all right, all right, Anton. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I yes, can't believe, Watson. I Watson can't believe reads you, the pass. I can't believe you get that and I don't get a block. <laughs> Watson reads the pass. Gonzaga is going to go on and win this game. A massive win against their in-state rival for the Bulldogs. And we have the two greatest programs in the history of college basketball facing off everything to gain for both UCLA and Duke. That game is coming up next. This is the final game of... NCAA 2K20's non-conference season. And what better way to end it than the dream matchup to end all dream matchups, UCLA and Duke. So not all, oh, oh. wow, Vernon Carey. Oh my Lord. All right, just get things started. Duke, one of the best teams in the country. They're, what are they sitting at now, 7-0? Oh, good steal. 6-0 uh, maybe? Yeah, six and all. I don't know. Trey Jones and six. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yep. Jalen Hill. Beautiful. Great offense here. So the number one team in the nation, Memphis, did finish off. All right. Almost gave that one up. Come on, boys. Come on. What? We need better defense than that. Ugh, they did finish off Kansas State. 75-48 to 48 was the final. Absolutely laid the smack down on the Wildcats. Chris Smith, yes. Ooh. Beautiful passing. Cody Riley dropped the I'm hammer. I'm standing in the lane. Can't, can't buy a steal. Trey Jones. No way. Oh, come on. Come on. The Trey Jones for you would have made that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Campbell taking Trey Jones to school. There's no way. I'm all over him like a wet t-shirt. <laughs> Come on. Oh, what a pass. Nope. Smith. Or Hill, that was Jalen Hill. Yep. No way Beautiful. he makes that. No yep. way. Goldwire, Goldwire shaking out. his head at you time out after that. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Oh. So this is a good time to mention... That Minnesota's game has just finished up. Mm -hmm. The Golden Gophers were taking on TCU. And Minnesota wins on a last-second game-winning shot by Marcus Carr. Ooh. Big result you, for the Gophers. Things Gopes. you love to see. Good board. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Minnesota looking pretty good. Another team that might be flying under the radar a little bit. But they've looked good. No oh. way. If that goes in, I swear. <laughs> Oh Goldwire. my god. Electric. Goldwire showed up for me when I played with Duke. Hill trying to answer. He'll go to the line. We've seen what Duke can do to teams. We know what they're capable of. But, you know, they beat... Their last game, they beat Ohio State by 40. So, we know what they can do. But what a game this is. Absolutely. 
Great D. Great D, boys, Trey again. Jones. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Trey Jones, about time he – that's his first bucket, and we're in the fourth quarter here. Wow, okay, so that's so that's news to me. Apparently coming into today's game, Trey Jones was officially the highest scorer in the league – in the country, I should say. Um, I didn't. I didn't look. Uh, I didn't look very closely at EJ Montgomery's stat line from Kentucky's win over Louisville, but uh, I guess he didn't have a great game. So Trey Jones is now the nation's leading scorer. Yeah, but only four points today. We'll see. We'll see how long that lasts for here. So. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Sharif, driving in. Sharif O'Neal. That's, that's disgusting. That back goes in. That's what we need him for. Circus shot. That's what he's in there for. Ten points already for Sharif. What a couple of games he's had. He's been massive for UCLA. Got oh, one. Got him up. Trey oh, Jones. No way he doesn't get dinner. rejected. Trey. So that's a good start. He's out of bounds. He was stepping <laughs> out of bounds. All right, here we go. Jalen Hill. Yes. Oh. All right, needed that. Now we need some good D. Oh, he's three. No! Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> In what world game? Oh, my God. I can't even shoot a free throw. I'm laughing too hard. Oh, Ooh. my God. Well, UCLA kept it close for a lot of this game, but Duke showing why they might be the number one team in the country with a performance like this here. Oh, what a rebound oh, what there, Jalen Hill. What a board. Uh, it's just a consolation there for the Bruins. Duke is going to go on to win this game. And Duke will remain undefeated. There are two undefeated teams left in the nation. Duke and Memphis. And the conference season is now here. So the conference season means so much in NCAA 2K20. Remember, the top two teams from each conference will make the NCAA tournament. So the conference season means everything and we have a lot planned for you guys that I think you guys are going to love. So we will have our rankings in the next episode, and then conference season will well and truly be underway. So thank you so much for joining us now. Keep an eye out for everything. Subscribe so you can see it, and we'll see you next time.